everybody. This is Stephanie and you are in my kitchen. Um, I am here today to just to um, to make lasagna actually and I want to thank you all for coming. I also want to let you know because this video ought to be out before the end of um, this year which is 2020. So this video should be out in the next week or so and uh, I want to let you know that if you want to uh, to get in a raffle basically for a $50 uh, Amazon gift card um, then you need to go to my oatmeal raisin cookie um, video and just tell me your favorite cookie and that in the beginning of January January 2021 we will pick a winner who will get this this prize and we'll let you know what's going on when we get closer to that date okay now you may hear a little noise in the background because um, there's people fixing something outside so don't worry but I'm gonna try to get this through anyway. Okay, so I'm now going to be making some uh, lasagna. And I looked through my videos, I don't think I showed you how I really do my lasagna, but I'm gonna do lasagna because Sharita wanted some, so. This actually will be for Sunday dinner. I think it's gonna be number 35 or something. I really don't remember, something in that area. But this is gonna be what we're really gonna have for dinner. So I'm gonna do it today, the day before, because I wanna get it done and I'll be making something else that day. But this is the lasagna I'm gonna be making. And I don't make it often, so I said, let me just tape it. All right, so first of all, I like, I happen to like this. I happen to like this um, kind of um, spaghetti sauce. Now you can make your own sauce, you can use your own favorite, it doesn't matter. But I happen to like this one, and I like a lot of sauce in, we like a lot of sauce in our, um, our lasagna. So I'm making it with this. And uh, you know, then I'll, I'll you know I'll throw a different kind of uh, spaghetti sauce in there like this. Whatever you but whatever you want to use, that's what you use. But I do like this one. And first I'm gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is put it in this pot. I'm gonna throw it throw. I'm making I'm, I'm throwing out three can three bottles. So I'm gonna put one, two. And the third one in here. If I wasn't going to add some, if I wasn't going to add some um, spinach, then I would just let that sit there, and I would add put my things in the, whatever I'm going to use, and I would work with it that way. But since I am going to add some spinach for some, you know, some vegetables in it, I'm going to add spinach in here. So. What I'm going to do right now, and I want to get this going, and I'm going to turn it down low, low. Just so it's in there, you know, so that this spinach can get, you know, worked in there. I'm going to throw two bags of spinach in here. All I'm going to do, just so it it, it um it gets in. So but that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to put it right just like that, and I'm going to turn this on low. On, I'm going to turn it on really low. Oh, right now, and it'll look down. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, in this pan, I have sprayed it with some olive oil, and I am going to turn it on. This one's getting on, and in this pan, this here is beef smoked uh, sausage, so or kielbasa. But this is what I'm using: some beef sausages. So I cut it up already. It's already cooked in general. All you really have to do is just warm it up. So I'm gonna, since I cut it up already, I'm gonna let it get hot. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna toss it around a little. Let's see. Here we go. Toss it all around. And they're gonna get brown. And you're gonna see this. You're gonna. I'm gonna cut this until it gets brown, so you guys can see. But this is generally what I'm doing. So I'll see you in a minute when this gets brown. All right, guys. So if you look at this, you see it just turned brown. Let me put my glasses on. You see it just, you know, started to turn brown, and that's all you want to do. Just give it a little color. And then it's ready. It's simple as that. It's all done. It works for me. Now, I'm going to add this to the pot. So, I am not doing that. 
<laughs> that's what I do. I gotta eat. And things are already prepared. I do use what's prepared. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, you see the grease in here? You can see that. I am just gonna pour it right in here so I don't pour it down the sink. I'm just gonna pour it right there. That's the grease that came from there. So some of the grease is out. Like little bite sized pieces. So I got my chopper to do just that. It doesn't take that long to cook this meat. I want to chop it. I'm going to put the seasoning so you know what seasoning I'm using, and then you'll be back when it's done. So I got some garlic and herb. I got this garlic and herb. This stuff does not have any salt. No salt at all. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that in here. I like garlic. I do. I like garlic. And I use garlic. In this case, I'm going to use some sage. Mostly because I'm not using pork. But I get it got um, the, the, taste, the taste of sage makes you think there's a little pork in there. But it's not. So I'm going to put some sage in. That's why I use sage. But you can use like a breakfast sausage with this, which would be wonderful. Just your pork one. Works too. You know, lasagna, you can, you can do it any way you want. I uh, got this roasted garlic right here. Is that roasted garlic. And I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there too. There we go. And I have some... Let's see. Let's try this. I have some ground thyme. I'm going to put some ground thyme in there. Beef, chicken. They all love ground thyme. So I sprinkle a little bit of that in there also. And let's see what else I got. I have uh, some oregano. In goes the oregano. And I'll tell you, maybe I got a tablespoon and a half of each for this. Yeah, about that. Then I got some garlic and parsley. And I like this stuff too. With a little parsley. Yep. This is garlic powder and parsley. So, there we go. And we got some basil. I'm going to stick the basil in here. And, no, I didn't have the oregano, but, oh, did I bring the oregano? Yeah, I did. Did I put the oregano in? This is the oregano. I don't know if I put it in, but I'm going to put a little bit more in. I'm sure. The oregano. And, okay, and I got some Italian seasoning. There we go. Got Italian seasoning. Let's throw some of that in here, too. So it's all seasoned up. For all kinds of good stuff. Oh yeah. And I'm going to just put a little bit of salt in here. I'm not going to put a lot. This is uh, the pink Himalayan salt. I'm just going to throw just a little in here. You know, I'd say about a, half a, about a teaspoon, maybe. It's not going to be a lot. I'm going to have enough salt with the cheese and whatever in here. It's going to be enough. All right. It smells good though right now. Now I'm going to mix it together. Alright guys, this is definitely done. Turn it off. I'm going to use a slide spoon to get, to get, uh, to get this meat out. So, put it in here. Okay, everybody. 
everybody, I'm back. And I got everything set up so I can show you guys what I'm doing. I have this aluminum pan. I often use an aluminum pan, especially around the holidays. I, I make, a matter of fact, I think I have a bigger one that I use for the family. So this is what I usually do it in. I do my um, lasagnas in, and this is what I make in, uh, in for the family for the holidays or whenever <laughs> so they all this is gone usually all right so i'm gonna show you what i'm doing now i also use this borelli's I, well it doesn't have to be borelli but i use the um the oven oven what's it called now uh the oven ready lasagna you don't really have to use that i understand you can use the regular lasagna but i just use this one and i i like this one so this is what i use so and but i'll get whatever they have sometimes if, if i so I can have. So I'm using that. I'm also using some of this uh, grated Parmesan cheese right here. That's my grated Parmesan cheese. I'm using some ricotta cheese, but I'm really not using a lot of ricotta cheese because uh, we just, I just spread it on. I don't and I don't add um you know I don't add eggs and stuff with it. I just use it straight up like this. And I'm using, I'm using some um, mozzarella now. I buy this kind. I like this kind, um, and I and I uh, cut it up and put it in amongst some other, you know, mozzarella like this. I might use this. I have some in the refrigerator that you know that I need to to, to use up, so I'm gonna use these, and that's what I'm gonna put in it. Basically, that's about it. Watch me. Okay, you see this this here? This was the uh, this is the uh, sauce right here, and the sauce is already. Cause I just put it, put it in. I turned it on low only because of the um, of the spinach. So, cause I wanted the spinach to to cook down. If I wasn't putting spinach in there, I would have not even turned it on. I would have just put everything together and stirred it up and moved on. That's what I usually do. But I had spinach, so I, I needed to do something extra, a little bit extra. So, the first thing I do is make sure some oil is in the pan. So I've got some olive oil spray right here. And this is olive oil spray, and you can use olive oil, you know, um, um, what is it called, Crisco, you know, whatever. Not Crisco, but or vegetable oil. But you want to use that. And I just want to just put a little in the bottom, so help it from sticking. Then I just want to take some of this, mostly sauce. Yeah, I don't really want so, so much meat, but the sauce is what I really want to put at the bottom of this. So I got some, mostly sauce. I'm going to spread it out. You know, just so it coats the bottom. That's all I'm doing with this lasagna. It smells good. It really does. It smells good. Now, that's all you really want to do. Simple as that. Now, you want to use some of these lasagna um cheese the uh, the truth is you do they don't have to be close together at all they'll be fine they spread out and i generally do it like this and then i will take one and i'll kind of cut it in half and put it and spread it out yeah whatever <laughs> i do kind of like that just to put a little of the holes in here and that's kind of how I got it. That's good enough. That's good enough. You really does not have to cover the whole thing at all. So, because it expands when when you when you're making it. So the next thing I'm doing is putting some meat sauce in here, just right on top, because the lasagna has to have the 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 um, sauce on it, the water texture actually so it starts to cook so you have to put it on like that you got to make sure it's surrounded with sauce or something so that it actually cooks so i am throwing it all on here this is tomorrow dinner that's what we eating and i'll be making cookies for dessert on my show so on my sunday show but this is really what we eating for dinner and some salad now next I'm going to take some of this ricotta cheese 
And my brother, he does not like this stuff. You gotta spread it on thin. <laughs> he eats it. And I find it it's good like that. I don't like big old clumps of this stuff in there either. So I would say my brother because he's he's picky. He's picky like Perry. Perry's picky too. Then I spread it around like this. You know, I really make it almost invisible. <laughs> and then and then they eat it. And it goes in very nicely like that. So spread it around just like that. And here we go. So now you don't really see it, but it is in here. That's the way we like it. Guys, I'm sure you guys make it differently, but that's and that's fine. That's how we like it. And this is how we eat it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've cu I cut up some strips. Oh, before I do that, let me just put a little bit of Parmesan on here. Sprinkle that one right now. And sprinkle a little Parmesan over it. That's why I didn't put too much salt in because the cheeses will have enough salt. You don't need more salt than that. You really don't. Could have put no salt in it. It would have been fine. Now, I'm going to put the cheeses in. And I particularly like this kind of cheese because it doesn't have that much salt in it. A lot less uh, of a sodium con uh, content, so that's the kind of why I like this kind of uh, that this particular kind of cheese. I looked at the salt content, and it's it is it is less than the regular mozzarella. Now I'm gonna also put this kind of this kind of mozzarella in because I got some I'm left. left. So. I'm going to put the rest in and use it up. Good way to use your cheese. I like mozzarella. You can put any kind of cheese you want. This is your lasagna. Put any kind of cheese you want in it. You know, that's to, to, to let you know mostly of how, I'm, how I do the lasagna. It's got to do with the, um, the way I'm using the noodles. I used to cook them. I don't do that no more. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't do that no more. Then the next layer, it, it's got to be, uh, well, yep, do I have the mozzarella? I got, I got it all in. It's all layered. Okay, next layer is this. Now, you don't necessarily need to see me talking through this whole thing, but you can, you can see how I'm actually doing it. So, this is how I, this is the next layer. Same process. Here's the sauce in here. This might go three layers high. I got a lot of sauce, so I mean a lot of, yeah, I got a lot of meat sauce. So try to get most of it on this side. There we go. It's a very hearty meal, <laughs> and it's got everything you need in it. It's got everything you need in it, and then some. And I'm, you know, the 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 um, the pasta is not that much. You really could have it, you know. It's not that much pasta in there, so I got that. Now, one more time, we're gonna put some of this in here, and we're gonna stir it into there. So we're gonna do, plop it in and stir it in, so you don't see it. Cause they don't like to see it, man. <laughs> nope. And I understand. I thoroughly understand. So what you want to do is, let's we got picky people that don't want to see the uh, the uh, ricotta. Just, just stir it in there and they won't see it. That's how you do it. Stir it right in. The picky people won't know it's there and they're tasting it. Still, it tastes really good. And it's not overwhelming like a whole, a whole mouthful of cheese like that. They don't like it, I tell you. They don't like it that way. <laughs> so, I do it this way. And it's hidden, but it's there. See, it's barely there. You are not gonna get a mouthful of ricotta. There we go, all hidden. See that? See how it's all hidden? And it's just soaked into the sauce. 
Now, next level, of course, a little bit more Parmesan in, on here. You can put as much Parmesan or um, mozzarella or whatever it is you want on here. You can do as much as you want. It's up to you. It's your lasagna. This is just my lasagna. Now I'm going to put use some more of these. Now you see how these come sliced. They don't all come sliced, but you these ones these come sliced. And, and I, I just take them and cut them again, cut them in little strips and put that on. Put them right in. I just actually cut it and throw them in there. That one to this side. more up. Just like that. Just cut it in strips. Always have a nice sharp knife, guys. Have a nice sharp knife. If you don't have a nice sharp knife, just get you a nice um, knife sharpener. And it's fine. Okay. So now I'm back into the I'm back in here. And I'm going to put them right here. Sprinkle them all out. And I still have enough for the top, which is all I want. Put them in like that. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. All right, all right, all right. And lasagna is good days later. <laughs> you can freeze this if you want and have it later, whatever. But this stuff is really, really, really good later. So that's why I said I'm making it today because it's it'll be tasting better tomorrow. And that's what this that's what this stuff come you know comes out to be. So now. Back to my lasagna here. Fill the lasagna up and put it like that. I'm gonna take one more and cut it in half here. Yeah, cool. That's cool actually. I'm gonna put that one right there this time. Put it over here. And I'm cooking. Yep, I'm gonna switch it and put you here. Put you there. There we go. That covers it. This is gonna be the top of my lasagna. And I'm gonna go like that with it, maybe. You know what? I'm actually gonna put another little half one here because this is the top. And I just want it all covered. Even though it does expand, but I just wanna cover I just want it. Do it my way. That's what Stephanie do, she does it her way. This is my lasagna. Okay. That kind of covers it. That's enough. Now, back to the sauce. This is the top of it, so I need it covered. You know, like I said, it won't cook if you don't cover it all. So you want to cover the top. And I got just enough to cover the top. It should be covered nicely. So I use three jars of sauce because I like we like a lot of sauce. So I use three jars. If you guys don't need to use that much, you guys can make a much, much, much smaller uh, version of lasagna if you want. So you don't need as much as I did. So that's why I'm just showing you guys how I make my lasagna. And this will feed 20 people, you know, if you especially if they're smaller size, if you want big a big hunk, if you want a big hunk, it still will feed 16 people. <laughs> I tell you right now, this will feed 16 people if you really want, if you really want a big old hunk of it. So I say, this is a crowd pleaser. If you got nothing, if you want to make it for 
an occasion, you certainly can. I make it for Christmas and Thanksgiving and sometime during the year. I don't make it often. So that's why I said I, I'm, she wanted it and I'll be making it for Christmas. And I guess you guys can see it for now. See what I, how I'm doing it. Now, again, we don't, we're not putting no more ricotta in, but we are going to put some Parmesan cheese on. Just a little bit. And we are going to put some more, the rest of my mozzarella, this mozzarella is going in. Let me just cut it up. And in this case, I'm going to actually cube it up. I'm going to put cubes on the top. Do it this way too, and do some cubes. Don't have to, but I decided to do it this way. And I chopped it all up for me. Now, I'm gonna sprinkle all of that, the rest of it is all in here. And little pieces like that. rest of it goes in and I'm going to put this mozzarella also on top. Finish up that mozzarella. I don't know if I put it on the second layer, but whatever. It's like I said, as well as Nanya, you can do what you want with it. So I'm going to put this, this one, this one's open already. I'm going to put some of that on here too. I'm going to have plenty of mozzarella on top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up with foil and put it in the oven. My oven's already preheated to like 375. I'm going to keep it in 45 minutes to an hour and let it really get cooked in. Everything except the cheese. Is, you know, like the cheese just needs to really get melted and bubbly, but everything else is cooked. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, and if you if you notice, I put my I always put stuff put another pan on the bottom of something drippy like this. So I got my little pizza pan underneath it, so it can stop help to pick up the drips, cause I don't like to be cleaning up all the time. So now I'm gonna use foil. I'm going to do it just like this and then to the other side. Since I have another piece already here, cover it up nice and tightly. And it goes in my oven for an hour. Watch me, you can watch me put it in. Just watch me put it in. Open up my oven. I'm going to put my mitts on. I'm gonna do that. <coughs> Put it in the middle rack and I'm gonna let it go. Pick it up. It's, it's a heavy one. If I was gonna make a smaller one, I would have put it in my in my new oven. But since I made a normal size one, it won't fit in there. So here we go. I'll be back in about an hour. Let you guys see. What it looks like. I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back. And due to audio difficulties, I'm just going to voice over the end. Uh, the lasagna was in the oven for about an hour and about an hour. And around the hour mark, I took off the foil and I left let it stay in for another 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, the temperature on the oven was 375 degrees and here you have it there's the lasagna guys have a great day
Thank you.